Hi guys, my name is Paul Lorenz and today I want to do a quick comparison between a World Cup slalom ski and a recreational slalom ski so that it helps you decide which one is the right ski for you. While these two skis look very similar, they are a completely different ski. And it's hard to see the differences. So the main sort of two areas you can look at is the tip. Often the race or World Cup ski will have a more robust and strong tip in case they hit gates. And you'll also see that the World Cup ski will have a World Cup plate on it under the binding, whereas a recreational ski will not. But even nowadays, some of the recreational skis have the plate as well. Okay, the main two differences between the skis are the shape and the flex pattern. A World Cup ski is always going to be more stiff than a recreational ski. What I mean by stiff is not just stiff along the length of the ski, but also torsionally stiff. And the reason for that is a racer is on much firmer snow, travelling at much higher speeds. So they need more support through the length of the ski, but also when they put the ski on the edge, we want to make sure that the tip and the tail are also on the edge and not just the boot meaning that if it's softer, it can warp off the edge and you don't receive maximum energy or direction change. At slower speeds or in softer conditions, this rigidity will make life hard. The ski will seem unresponsive and incredibly unforgiving. So looking at the shape of the ski, typically retail skis are slightly wider than the World Cup counterpart. Um, that allows more versatility to ski off-piste or softer snow, uh, and I guess a little bit more flexibility uh, if the movements aren't as precise as they need to be on the World Cup ski. So while these skis look very similar, they are completely different skis and I use them in different ways. So for high performance skiing on very, very firm snow with movements that I have practiced and feel very confident with and need a ski for uncompromising performance, I'll go to the World Cup ski. If I'm looking for a ski that will work in all conditions, that means I can ski at a high performance off-piste or in softer snow, then I'm going to be looking more for the retail ski. The extra width gives me a little bit more float in softer snow. The flexibility also means that I don't have to be as precise and I can get away without being punished if I make the wrong move. It's also a good ski to work on if you're training a new movement or learning a new type of turn. Now that's not to say that this is an intermediate ski. Both skis are still in the professional lineup, particularly with vocal. This one will just be more versatile to use everywhere. As a recreational skier, don't just look to the pros and choose the World Cup slalom. Okay, consider the benefits of each ski because they are very different and I would encourage that most recreational skiers, no, no matter the ability, uh, no matter how fast you're skiing, uh, I believe that the retail slalom will perform in all areas very well for you. So please have a bit of a think about this when you're next purchasing skis. I hope this helps and I hope to see you out on the snow soon. If you found this video useful, then please check out projectedproductions.com where you'll find hours of instructional videos that will improve your skiing.